920, welcome back to CTV Morning Live. Time for our Ask the Expert segment with uh, Brenda Hollingsworth uh, from O'Shea Hollingsworth. You can send us in your questions, 789-6559, extension 2803, to ask your questions live on the air. Now you can send us an email to ottawa.morning at ctv.ca or send us a message via Twitter or on our Facebook page. I honestly think what we were about to just... Uh, tell people is brilliant and uh, it's raining we are dealing with rain over the next a couple of days and you brought in your umbrella and I thought this was the the, mo the most basic the smartest thing that I think people need to understand yeah so this is uh, the personal injury lawyers umbrella you will notice it is clear and this is so when I'm walking on the street I can see the cars because I like to pull it down I don't want my hair to get wet um, and so if I am crossing the street or something I am going to be able to see traffic around me. So it's great for me, but what I really think is all the kids out there, I see lots of little girls in particular with uh, very cute umbrellas, but if they pull them down or they've got a few of them huddled in there, they're not going to be able to see or really hear uh, traffic around them. It's a very basic concept, and yet you see so many people and clients coming into the office who it may not have been their fault, but they could have avoided the situation had they had a better visual on where people were at. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a scientific poll, but I would say that probably a very large majority of my pedestrian accidents involve rain or snow um, in the sense that the weather's bad, maybe drivers can't see, their windshield wipers are going, lots of different distractions that way. And then the umbrella's just one variable. Mm -hmm. But you're saying most most uh, personal injury lawyers all have clear well, umbrellas. Well, or they, you know, or at least when I saw it, I was like, of course you need to have this. You know, um, most personal injury lawyers are men, so they may not have a clear umbrella. <laughs> but they uh, don't need to protect their hair as much. That's right. Yes. But, uh, this one is adorable, uh, available uh, all over the place, mm -hmm. and uh, just something that uh, is easy, especially for your kids. They're a very smart and very basic thing to be able to get to. Okay, that was one thing, because you came in with it, and I thought that was brilliant. Yeah. We are talking a little bit more about the consultation side today. That initial consult, uh, if you are dealing with a new client, and what you want people to really understand. Yeah, so, I mean, the con consultation's one thing. We have a lot of people who tell us when they come in, yeah, I really wondered whether or not I should go for a free consultation, and they spent four or five months wondering if they should do it. It's free. It takes an hour. You should do it. And the worst thing that could happen is that you could find out that, you know, you don't have a case. And then you can stop worrying about it and just focus on getting better. That's a lot of time to sit there and ponder. Oh, I, I mean, we get people 18 months before the accident. Well, you know, I've been thinking about it. Just do it. Um, so, you know, thing number one about the free consultation, come and have it. Just call our office. We do an initial screen on the telephone. And um, we're pretty experienced, and if, if you have no chance of having a case, we'll tell you on the phone. So you don't even have to come and see us. We can give you that in information right away on the telephone that, you know what, this doesn't sound like something that you're going to be able to pursue. It's interesting because you can spend months pondering, and yeah. then finally you'd be able to, uh, to make that call. The longer people are pondering these situations, though, on certain cases, and I've learned in, in talking to you, time is of essence. And yeah. so... You're not doing yourself any favors by doing that. Yeah, that's right. I mean, you could ultimately wait too long. That happens sometimes, fortunately not too often. The other thing that you do when you wait too long is you eliminate one of the settlement opportunities. There is a settlement opportunity just before your limitation period expires where the insurance company thinks, gee, if we settle this case, we don't have to hire a lawyer on our side and we don't have to have a lawsuit. If you wait to too close to the two-year mark, You've missed that opportunity because we don't have time to gather all the information that we need. So, you know, you may not miss the limitation period, but you miss an easy settlement opportunity if you wait too long. When you're talking about a free consultation, is this just an opportunity to speak? Or, or even at that point in time, if there are resources, if there's material, if there's photographs and, and, and paperwork done, actually have those ready to go on that first consult? Yeah, we ask people to pile up every piece of paper they have related to the accident. We don't ask you to organize it. You can stick it in a plastic shopping bag. It doesn't matter. We'll organize it. I can usually go through a big pile and say, I want that and I want that. And I know mm -hmm. what I need to look at. So bring everything that you have. And we can give you an initial sense of, A, is this a viable case? And if so, what are we looking at in terms of time and effort on your part and on our part? Mm -hmm. 
it, it's interesting because sometimes when you've got, uh, you, you head for a second opinion sometimes too with uh, doctors making a prognosis. Is it similar sometimes too that because there's different specialties that some lawyers are going to be better for cases than others. Yeah, I mean, definitely you want a personal injury lawyer. If you have a personal injury case, do yourself a favor and get a personal injury lawyer. You know, our firm, of course, I want you to come and see us, but uh, there are, you know, a dozen strong personal injury firms mm -hmm. in the city. Uh, don't get a dabbler. Even if the person's done five or six real estate deals for you, Come and talk to a personal injury lawyer. It makes a difference when you're looking at, at some of the things that are happening further down the road. We do have to take a commercial break. We'll be back, but we want to be able to answer your questions. Uh, so give Brenda a call. The number is 789-6559, extension 2803. You can always send us a message as well on Facebook, on Twitter, or via email. We're back with more right after this.